Definitely guilt because I see the bottle, like I use lots of water bottles, so I feel guilt for that. But I, uh, doing the small things like um, turning the water off instead of keeping it running, uh, using things after seven because I think that's energy and money saver. Um, using like the cold wash for laundry because that's also helps save energy. Um, I probably could do better with water bottles, but I don't have time to buy a Brita. Actually, I have personally felt panic when it comes to climate change. An example for when I felt scared was when Greta said that by 2030, if we do not change our habits completely, it will be too late to save the world. To make me feel better um, is like when I think about the happy moments in my life that are happening right now. And I try to live like my life to the fullest and basically think of what's happening in my life now and not really. Yes, I have felt extreme loss upon hearing of plastic pollution in our rivers, lakes, and oceans. The plastic turns into nurdles, microscopic pieces of broken down plastic. The ocean mammals, such as the whales and other marine life in our oceans, ingest these plastic particles and they die from plastic in their stomachs. Uh, I definitely do feel guilt and panic, uh, but not necessarily despair. Um, I'll explain guilt mostly because I, um, I'm not necessarily uh, helping out. Uh, let's say in, in the change for um, for climate reforms, uh, I'm not always uh, participating in most activities or in most protests. And there's a certain panic because you kind of feel it, you see the change and the effect. But the spirit, I want to despair because there is a movement uh, among the younger generation, but also among the bigger companies who are trying, at least, uh, to push forward uh, greener energy, to push forward greener um, uh, greener production. So, like, uh, manufacturing is a little bit greener, it's a little bit better, more efficient, let's say. And there's even uh, car companies that are coming. I don't think I've ever denied climate change anything. No? Okay. No, I'm pretty sure I haven't because you can see it. Yeah. You can see what the temperature is. Like my childhood winters and the winters now are completely <laughs> different. So you can you can see how it's affected. Well, I try to think positively. You know? uh, always uh, be involved in politics. You know? Always stay up to date. And maybe not on a big scale. But let's say uh, I'll be having a conversation with friends or family. I can maybe inform them of some of the myths or taboos that they they think about climate change, or uh, you know, try to educate them. And that's the that's that's the biggest weapon against um, against climate change is really informing people of the reality of the. Actually, I have never de uh, denied climate change because um, to me it's pretty obvious that it's happening. For example, like the sea levels are rising and creating many floods and um, global warming is le uh, leading to the amplification of natural disasters. So um, I think like, for example, if a, if a tsunami were to hit Canada, I feel like because of climate change, it would be even more amplified. Um, and at this point in time, I don't really have or need any coping mechanisms because I believe that climate change is a real problem and it, that it is true. So therefore, like I'm not really denying anything. it matters everywhere don't forget that countries that start to industrialize follow the path of uh affecting climate change yes <laughs> so it's not just the rich people it's a poor it's a poor it's poor country people too so actually i do believe that climate change can be saved by um, mostly the richer countries because those countries have access to um pollutants like example cars um, they produce a lot of pollution, but however, I don't think the richer countries are the only um, countries that play a role in climate change. I think um, the second and third world countries can also play a role, by example, eliminating at least half of their plastic use. I find that a lot of second and third world countries um, use single-use plastics, example, plastic bags, and they have a lot more waste, so 
Therefore, I think both of those, all types of countries should all contribute towards helping with the climate change. So do you think that climate change is a preoccupation of the rich countries only? If not, where else does it matter for you? Um, I don't think it's a preoccupation for rich countries only. I think it's for everybody. But richer countries do have a bigger role simply because they occupy um, a bigger economic space on the international market. So they're the one that can push forward um, policies or push forward international laws that can help protect our environment, our oceans, for example, uh, simply by being, I wouldn't say this is a bigger boss, but by, be, by taking the responsibility as a richer country to help out those with lesser resources or those with lesser power and kind of educate them or provide them an easier route. In all honesty, the hardest part I think is uh, old idea versus new idea and just getting people out of their habits, which on its own is hard to do. But like where say I would use a dishwasher, my parents fill a sink mm -hmm. and quickly yeah. rinse and scrub, which is probably a little bit more effects yeah. like right than what we do no i actually don't usually have conflicting arguments with um people around me i feel like climate change is such a widespread topic so um now like so many people have the same views as i do which is climate change is real um also i was raised in a household that did not permit wasting example turning off light uh we have to turn off lights um we have to use less water when brushing teeth uh like a five minute shower etc and also we recycle a lot so therefore i am used to reducing and reusing at first my family did not want to participate however by teaching by example they were able to see that a small change at home can make a big difference for the world's problem at large with too much garbage being made on this earth. Clean air is essentially needed by both rich and poor humans alike to survive on our planet. That there should be co individual consequences for each person if they do not comply with environmental laws. I would like to get solar panels mm. to help with energy, yeah. but that's something I have to save up for. Yeah. But that's I would totally, yeah. totally love to do that because there are houses on my street that have it. Yeah. Not only do they look cool, yeah. but the benefits. Yeah. Um, I guess like it would just have to be small things. Like I'm a person that sees garbage on the side of the road and if it's not disgusting, I'll yeah. pick it up and put it away. And you know, in all honesty, the best way is to teach my kids. Yes. Yes to be more aware yeah. and I'm tr that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. I believe that climate change has indeed affected my everyday life. Um, it is because of the smog in the air that I have asthma. I need to have my inhaler practically everywhere. Um, whenever I go somewhere, I need to take it. Um, also, the fact that climate change um, makes it more humid in Ontario during those summers. I cannot go out for a long time because my asthma always acts up when it's humid. Um, it makes me feel pretty sad because I like to enjoy the sunshine and um, I like to have a nice day outside. I don't want to stay inside um, in the summer.
Well, I believe that this would start with um, reaching children in the school system when they are young. And we can encourage the young minds to create and to become involved in science fairs that will help them to think up of innovative ways to combat our climate change problems. The concrete steps that I am taking to engage in climate change awareness, it's by attending rallies and demonstrations. I try to lend my support to any organization that needs me. I also have made a conscious decision not to drive and I have become a vegan and I try to be a zero waste and I try not to buy brand new clothes at the at the shopping mall but I go to thrift shops. All of these different changes in my life um, don't really hurt me but they help you know the environment at home i implemented a system of waste reduction by offering a compost bin in most of the rooms of the home and a recycle bin as well middle class and the lower class people their lives are busy um and by busy i just say you're in the system you're going to work nine to five you pretty much don't have that pleasure to just go around and you know start initiatives you don't you're probably too tired you don't have that time so if the system in itself allows people more freedom then maybe people will have more time to execute some of these initiatives the other thing is the economy as well is affecting everyone right now so some of these initiatives might be really expensive so not a lot of people are ready to um, invest in these kind of matters especially the middle class but i would probably say yeah the higher class people and the the more wealthy people should probably do initiatives to do that and if i did have that wealth maybe uh, my initiative would be you know to try and at least plant more trees especially in places where there's a lot of a forest uh, deforestation and now since we have cell phones and we have tablets to some extent sometimes i ask myself why people still have to cut trees for paper at least we'll have a lot more trees um le a lot less de deforestation and that way we'll be preserving at least a good amount of our forests because now people can type on their phones or they can type on tablets um, unless we're talking about the developing nations which cannot afford these technologies but like I said, these are the, some of these climate solutions require a lot of funding. They require a lot of government support. But yeah, I'll probably deal with the trees, especially after we saw how much forest. I think it depends on the kind of government, yeah. because certain governments only pay attention to certain things. Yeah. And uh, I mean, I know even the liberal government talks about what they want to do. It's just whether or not they actually do it. Actually yeah. do it. Governments need to play a bigger role regulating a lot of these corporations, which I wouldn't say they're doing a very good job. A lot of these corporations are run by very wealthy people who have friends in the governments. So the governments are very lenient when it comes to shaking up their profits. And I'll probably say the government needs to take this serious uh, because these corporations then are destroying the world. And I don't think the common uh, or the middle class or the lower class will be able to tackle some of these big corporations. These corporations have departments to deal with these issues or these kind of complaints on a very high level that most poor people or maybe Maybe the middle class will not be able to deal with them themselves or the citizens so it's up to governments to actually step up and either create bylaws and bills that regulate how much freedom these corporations have to continue with high production of whatever they're producing that does cause these climate change uh, side effects individuals should reduce the use of paper for example when you go to the store get a reusable bag instead of uh, getting the plastic bags and the paper bags if you're in a situation where you can't live without technology then use it as well to help reduce climate change um, i would say individuals should also vote in government officials who do care about the environment um, and have initiatives that actually do curb or promise changes in the environment and make sure that these promises are met i've seen a lot of people still littering governments should also put initiatives where they put garbage bins every few meters away and it works well in a lot of countries but there's a lot of countries that don't have that yet so if you have a garbage uh, bin right next and you educate the people on the importance of proper uh, disposal of waste then maybe people will actually care and maybe education is another thing that's really needed the government should invest in educating people about protecting the planet it's very difficult to convince people to protect the planet when the corporations are not changing as well so the government must have a balance and the corporations and the government and especially the western world has to play a way bigger role than I mean, I think of that little girl, what's yeah. her name, Greta, uh -huh. who did a single protest and made a huge impact. I don't know if my impact would be as effective. Yeah, right, it's yeah. more going to be around who I'm with and, and, and my kids and, and even their friends. I think that's who I would affect the most as opposed to... But you know what? Like we do the school cleanings. Like they always have like a like a garbage clean. Like we go and we do all that stuff.
Okay, well, if we're doing a protest, I think that's different because I think it's important that everybody has a voice. Yes. I know at my kids' school, they've had protests when there were bill changes that affected their classroom. Mm -hmm. And I think that's great that they're using their voice. If they're actually protesting because of what it is or if they're protesting because they just don't want to be in class, I don't know. Yeah. But if they're using their voice, I think it's fine. Yeah. If, they wanna, if they're doing it to make an impact and a change, I think it's perfectly okay. I actually do know of her because of her amazing speeches. I watched them on Instagram TV actually, and um, I found them, I found all her speeches very interesting, and I think that they impacted a lot of people. I also believe that she's helping to spread awareness about the matter um, and make people realize that you do need to do something, but you don't need to be a well-known actor, actress, or a politician to get your message out there. She's also making people realize that if she's a 16-year-old Swedish girl that travels around the world, she doesn't even take, she doesn't even use like an airplane. She takes um, the train or I'm not really sure. I have to inform myself about how she gets to different places. But if she can do it, I think anybody can do it.